Welcome back to my Richard's YouTube channel. Today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful double layer structured sleeve. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is where you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So, to make this sleeve, it's like it's a two layer sleeve. You can make a three layer or even a single layer depending on what you want. But this video is requested, so we'll just make the two layer that was requested okay so now the amount of fabric you need depends on how big how voluminous you want this to be okay but for me for the short one i'll be using around nine inches for my length okay so i have this satin fabric and i folded it into two now so it's on fold then i'll rule this because of this rough part i'm just going to rule a straight line before i start okay so this is going to be my starting point so for the short one i'll measure around nine inches for the length that's what i want you can do more or less so from the starting point here i'm measuring nine inches and i'll make that into a straight line and then for this long one I'll measure around 12 or oh, let me see what I have here. okay I have around 13 inches 13 and a half so I'm just going to exhaust what I have okay but you can just increase this so that it's I just want like a three inches difference between each of them so if I had three inches to nine it's going to give me 12 so I'm not going to be cutting this on exactly three inches I'll just increase it a bit so now I can cut this out so if you are going to be lining this because if you have to line this because you are going to be adding color stay to give this sleeve a structure so it means you have to cut two of each one for your main fabric and then one for your for your lining for the two, two for the two layers okay what i mean is these nine inches that i measured you cut two and then the width i used for this is around let me check so i have around 14 inches here on fold so when i open it out it's going to be 28 inches so you can do more if you want your design to be bigger than this okay but because of this tutorial i'm just going to be illustrating how to get this so i'm just making do with what i have here so now for the length of this like i said i'm going to be increasing it a bit so you can just place it like this so that you see the difference this is going to give you so this difference that i have here you can see this is the first one is okay for me so i'm just going to slash it around here so that's going to increase my nine inches to around nine and a half inches okay so i have these two now this is the long part and this is the short part so to create that effect now i'm going to measure around five inches from the upper part you can divide it into two depending on how tapered you want it to be if you want it to be really narrow you just measure like three inches okay so you just connect it to the m like this but if you want it still wide you can just divide this into two so if I divide this to, to this, that is going to give me six and, and a half, and then I'm going to connect it. So for me, I'm just going to come down by five inches from this upper part, and then from there, I'm going to, you can use a cuff, or you just use your free hand to connect it to the hem here, like this. So after connecting it, I'm going to cut this up. I'm just smoking it out. So if I cut it off, this is what I have. Okay, so this is the first one. So here now you need to cut this also for your lining. So the same thing that I did here on this part also, I'm going to go down by five inches. And like I said, it's because I really want this tapered. If you don't want it to be really sharp, you can just divide that by two. So here also I'm going to go by five inches and this is going to be like half of this so from there also i'm going to connect it like this you see the difference this is going to give us okay so after connecting it i'll have something like this also 
so like i said again you need to cut exactly this for your lining so placing it on each other this is what i have you can see the difference that we have and then because this is not so so low because this is originally nine and a half inches and i went down by half by five inches so it's like half you can see that it's not as narrow as what we have on the lower part that's a long one so it depends on the design you are going for you can also change this anyhow you want so this is entirely dependent on you it depends on you and the style that you are you want to go for okay so now the next thing now is for me to cut a color stay you need something strong because this is a structured sleeve so the secret ingredient is that interface that you're going to be using to create that structure so for me i'll be using a very hard color stay for my interface so this is the color stay that i'm using it's quite strong so i'm just going to cut out this shape exactly this shape and then i'm going to go ahead and iron it on it so that it can stay so i've gone ahead to gum the color stay to it it's very strong so i also cut out my lining so what i did is to place it lining facing right side facing the right side lining and the main fabric and then i sew it around you can see i used the black thread so that we can see it and then i did the same thing so where you're going to be turning is that hack that curved part is where you're going to sew to turn so after doing this you will notch it and then turn it out neatly so once you turn it out everywhere is going to be neat okay so after turning it you take it back to your ironing table and then iron it very well so that it can lay flat okay if you cannot iron it you can top stitch on it so anything just to make it as flat as possible so after this now we're going to be pleating or gathering it to our off shoulder remember this is on an off shoulder sleeve so whatever it is that you went off with usually is around four or five inches so you're going to be gathering it to that point okay so let's say i'm going with five inches so on fold it's going to be five inches but by the time i open it for both front and back it's going to be 10 inches so i'm going to be placing this upper part to that 10 inches okay so you can either gather or place it but because of the state may be a bit difficult to gather so you can just pleat it to that 10 inches so you do this for day two okay so i've gone ahead to pleat it and you can see how it is standing it's standing because of the color stay so this is the short one this is what we we'll have i can see that it's not so tapered and this is the long one then i went ahead to make this also broad i did not taper it so that it can just correspond with what i have here so you just need to place them on each other and then turn this upper part with bias okay because i'm just going to be adding this to the tip to the upper part alone of your off shoulder sleeve and then if you want to use it on a regular sleeve also you just sew this to the arm o. but it may be a bit difficult to sew or you don't when you want to do this you make sure that your color stay does not get to this upper part okay because the color stay is quite strong so you stop your attaching your color stay around here so that sewing this on the upper part will be easier for you so if you want to turn this neatly what you just need to do is to place this against each other like this that's if you have two but if you have just one if you are doing just a single layer you just need to use a bias to turn it out but if you have two like this you place them against each other then after sewing it you turn it out and then by the time you turn it it's going to be neatly finished so those are the ways you can turn it so i'll just take this to the mannequin so that we'll see what it looks like okay so after turning the rough edge like this this is how you sew it to your arm o. so i just pin this to my mannequin and these are the two layers so this is totally up to you this is quite big because that is the measurement i i used and this is how i want it in my case i used 28 inches by nine and a half for the shorts and then 28 by 13 for the long one so if you don't want it this big or you want it bigger you can increase or decrease as you want it and also remember i went down by five inches before curving it like this if you want yours to be tapered you can even start it from this from this point all the way to the hem 
depending on what you want so you can choose the shape that's one of the most important thing is to remember to add interface to this so that i can give you this standing structure that you're seeing i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye